<laughs> what do we got here? So, uh, Pija, who just turned, I can't drive. You knew that one. Yeah, Sammy Hagar. Uh, Sammy Hagar. Sammy Hagar. <laughs> He's very big and elsewhere. That's very nice. Everyone knows Sammy Hagar. He's our favorite singer. I believe of Van it was Halen. Van Halen. <laughs> Van Halen was a very good band. If even you're a good before. Viking, you go to Van Halen. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I don't even know what. The... If you're a Different kind of, if you're the special kind of if Viking. You're a special Viking. You go to Van Halen. Special little, special little Viking. Oh, Dan. Um, I'm committing a uh, federal Hello? crime by opening mail that is, is that not addressed to me. Is that really true? Would you I believe go so. to jail for opening someone else's mail? Let's find out. <laughs> All right, so what is this? This, oh, it says, uh, hopefully this letter arrives at the same time as my gift for you does, as there was no option for a message to go along with it. An entire year of wonderful moments is nothing to frown at, and I thought that a gift for Retro Replay's first birthday was suiting. Uh -huh. uh, being that my collage received a lot of love on Twitter, I had a smaller collage of one shot of you both on the couch from every episode... Let me reread that. Go ahead. Because I'm. I had a smaller collage of one shot of you both on the couch from every episode made... Into a throw blanket, please do the honors here. Let's uh, mm. Mm. What's a couch without a blanket on the back of it, right? If the back of the couch doesn't work, I'm sure you can find a suitable place for it. Congrats again on one year retro replay. You keep playing, I'll keep watching. Adam Wozniak. Mountain this is Woz. Wozniak? He's a founding 500 member. Hell yeah, he is. F5, Look at this. Yo. Hey, hey. You need to not do that under the blanket without me. I feel so small in your arms. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> oh, the fan fiction explodes. Dude. Very cool. Mountain Waz. Mountain Waz. That is very cool. We, By the way, we checked it. It's very small. Or it's very, uh, very soft. Very small. It's very soft. <laughs> soft and small. Not a good thing if you're a guy. Kids, <laughs> no. you're small. Don't be soft. Talk Let's start the Joe good. with the dick joke. Hey, everybody. What's going happen? Nolan North, Troy Baker. We're on the couch. Mountain Waz has put a blanket yeah. up here. It's retro replay, and oh, uh, this is very cool. We actually ch uh, checked this blanket out, and Thank you. sure enough, every he's got. We don't repeat a T-shirt. That's the that's the the part of me that I looked. at. I was like scanning for like um, reprints of T-shirts. Remember, yeah. like in like animated series, you're like, oh, they reused that shot. There's like even some shows that we've been on. They're like, yeah. the Scooby Doo was really bad about it too. It's like that's the same running shot they just did. I was like, meh. There's really only 15 minutes of animation. Yeah. <laughs> of original it animation. Saves a lot of money for a show that's been running since 1969. 69. Never been off the air. Never. Do you know, I think it's six or seven times I've been the guy who got to say, and I would have got away with it. If it hadn't been. Meddling kids. Did I tell you, this is, we, we both had these moments where, mm -hmm. I, you didn't, did you get to work with Mel Blank? No. Maurice did. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the yeah. story that well, we had where no. we walked in. We got to work. I think Phil Blank had passed away before I even was into this business. Yeah. So thank you for that shot. That <laughs> That's sacrilege, but I understand it. What? The fancy water in the in the whiskey cup. Fancy water in the whiskey cup. That's like a Not Chris a Stapleton horrible. I'm like, that you know what? Be, I, but I was like, song. I was gonna write this song, and then I, uh, I the better part of me, like I said, no. <laughs> That's like. Uh, Chris, we really need you back on the bourbon because your songs. I think I should be sober. We think you shouldn't. We don't think you should be sober. <laughs> we think you be sober. Could you grow the beard back? <laughs> you imagine me shaving you like just like the really small chin. You're like, oh. how do you put a pillowcase on? <laughs> I don't know. I have helpers. So I walked into uh, it was at Salami Studios. I walked in and like we get hired all the time for like you're gonna come in and do like a bit part of this thing and and so I was gonna do. I was like, cool, I'm gonna be on Scooby. <laughs> so I walked in. And there's like Gray Delisle, there's Matt Lillard, and I look and that's Frank Walker, and I was like, <gasps> Oh, we always had that, yeah. But I, and I, I said the same thing, I was like, that's Frank Walker. She was like, of course it is, who else would it be? I'm like, yeah, but you know, like that's the one that I haven't met yet. I, I the, got to meet the, all my heroes. Godfather. And she goes, well, that's why you're here. So I got to do, I was like, I'm the red monster, he's the blue monster. And so 
Frank Wilker was like the person that everybody who's really in this business was like, if I could just do mm -hmm. creature sounds like he did. We've talked about him so many times. Um, he was Abu in uh, Aladdin because he was the monkey in Raiders yep. uh, of the Lost Ark. He was, uh, go, let's go back a little further, Cujo. Oh, he was the Cujo. The original Cujo, the dark <laughs> I mean, he hates all that done, stuff. It's it's insane what he's able to. He and and Peter Cullen are like. Well, I've talked about this, <clears throat> but when I did Transformers Prime. Oh God. I, I mean, literally, he. So I, I remember the room was set up. It's uh, Studiopolis in, mm -hmm. in Burbank, and over in the corner, there's Cullen and Welker right next to each other, and they're telling stories. So they would tell stories about old Hollywood that. <sighs> And you just like sit Hanna there and shut up days. and you listen. But I remember the first time I ever did that, and Cullen was like, Autobots, roll out. And I just kind of went, oh. Play it. Stay close, Maximum. It's time to transform and roll out. Yeah, play, play the real one. Autobots, transform and roll out. That's really That's good. so good. He should continue doing this. <laughs> he has. No, but you'd hear them. They would start going into... Um, the original 12 Angry Men, they'd start doing the, going back and forth, because wow. Welker could do the best Henry Fonda. And Cullen was doing that, he got kids up bum, he's Lee J. Cobb. I mean, it was just, and you're just sitting there, by the way, if you don't know who those people are, your, your life is, is, not, is not complete. It's a great play. Henry Fonda, Lee J. Cobb, it's a great play that they did a movie on, and it's- The whole thing is a bottle episode, it's yeah. awesome. Listen, I have. Sit down and don't open your mouth again. But I remember being with them in those rooms. Oh my God. I know. I when when I got to go in and I'm I'm terrified and I'm this is like my one of my first like big animations. Right. Definitely first time you ever be on Scooby. It was one of my first times to ever be on in a room like that before. Like cast record. I think I'd done a couple of bit parts on on the first Avengers. Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, and she goes and the blue monster says and Frank just does. What I've always heard as, as these monster sounds, but it's coming out of his face. <laughs> and she goes, and the red monster says, and then it's my turn. And I just closed my eyes and did what I had always heard and always wanted to do. But I, I, had no, I didn't know if I could do it, especially on demand in front of Mike. And I did it and I opened my eyes and there's Frank looking at me and he goes, yeah. and I do it. Every time, he's the nicest, kindest, yeah, most talented. He, and he's also that. he's the poster child for humility when it comes to that kind of because you wouldn't know. Uh, the crazy thing no. about it, and you know this, when we 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 once moved and I mo moved to this house, and I kept looking at this this place across the street, and I'm like, finally called my agent because we have the same agent, and I said, this. Does Frank Walker live on this street uh, out here? And I gave the address. She goes, yeah. She probably, yeah. She probably shouldn't have given me that information. <laughs> yeah. That easily. Way, you're fired. And I was, like, <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, I live across the street from Frank Walker. Wow. And then, you know, he and I have become golf buddies. He invited me. To go, and so now he'll, and best nickname I've ever gotten. Smoke? He calls me Smoke from Smoke Screen. He'd be like, hey, you want to play golf today, Smoke? Hey, smoke. And you're out there and you're. What if it was terrible and he just never remembered your name? And he was like, hey. Mm. I'd be okay with it. Nolan North, uh, no, and Troy Baker. I knew a Troy Baker when I was, oh, no, no, no. Uh, that was, uh, that was Troy Aker. Uh, he was, um, got thrown out of class when he was in third grade. I never heard of these guys, no. What a great way to begin the episode. Yeah, okay, what is this? I wanna... Uh, you were a Oh, I got my new glasses, my kid. I, I already saw the name on this. Um, dude, you oh, crack yeah. me up. You cr every, like, every live chat, he's witty. He's very funny. Uh, who he's talking about? Founding 500 member, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Greg Bergner. Greg Bergner. Greg, we do. We love you in the live chat. He's always dude. He is a he is a, a, a student of the pun. He's very good with the puns. So it says, "Thank you, uh, uh, Troy, Nolan, Drew, and PJ." Oh, poor Greg. We'll have to let him know. I think it's pronounced Peej. Peej. 
Uh, thank you for all of the laughs and strolls down memory lane with each game you play. I also love hearing the stories that, I, that are brought up as well. Here's a copy of Deadpool. Yes. For the PS4. I know it's custom to have the case, but sadly this one I bought did not come with one. I used. <laughs> stolen. <laughs> Went to my friend's house. Uh, since you are playing Uncharted, I figured you could have a game in between the series. Hope you all Ooh. get a chance to play it. Have lots of fun with the humor and combat like I did. Send you all the love and all the best, Greg Bergner. Thank you, Greg. A little bit of a palate um, cleanser before we jump into... Is that is Deadpool a palate cleanser? That's what happens when you mix C4 with a bean burrito. I want to read one. Yeah, you read one. Okay. Of, of, of um, gentlemen, it's yes. like how you begin, yeah, it's like how you begin a, a mission briefing. In five hours, we hit the enemy toast. I'd like to first take the opportunity to thank you and your teams mm -hmm. for creating a community where gamers and other nerds can be free to be themselves. That is our goal. The daily affirmations that come in from all corners of the world, both on the Retro Replay Discord and in the live chats on YouTube, are super refreshing to see. No shit. Mm -hmm. I like to pay a bit forward. The enclosed book is written by my best friend, Angie Bass. Bass? She's from a small town called Batesville, Indiana, and she's a mother of two. She worked hard to self, this is what you're reading. Yeah. Uh, she worked hard to self-publish this novel and is now writing a sequel. Hell yeah. Uh, I told her I was sending it as a fangirl, which is a complete lie, and it would be great if you could read it and possibly offer an anonymous review on Amazon. If you would like to reach out to her directly, she goes by AJ Bass. Which sounds like someone that used to be in uh, mm. to Troy. To Troy. <laughs> uh, she knows you don't know that. how to read. Uh, AJ Bass on Twitter. I hope it's Bass, not Bass. Oh, oh, uh, State Fantasy. Hell yeah, Founding 500. Thank you so much for all you do. I hope you realize what an impact you and your teams have on people around the world every day. Thanks again. Charlotte Merritt, AKA Snape Fantasy. I love Snape Fantasy. Um, I just noticed she only made the sound of Troy. Sorry, Nolan. I don't think she meant to leave you out, but we all know that you can't read. Um, wow, dude. Thanks, Seth Snape. I'm beneath yeah, you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for Troy's book. This is what I love. Couldn't send an audio book for the guy who can't read? Uh, thanks. Um, readist. <laughs> You're such a readist. I'm going to go with Bass. George Lucas. I'm going to go with Bass. Like AJ Bass. Wasn't that one of the guys from NSYNC or one of those bands? Lance Bass? Lance Bass. Uh -huh, we had a Lance Bass joke about that. We can go. Well, let's, so say, let's say John DiMaggio. I'm going to play as Lance Bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one got me. I'm going to play as Lance Bass. I texted my dear friend, Neil Druckmann. Um, He's uh, new in the business. Um, he's an up and comer. I think the kid's got, but I think he's got okay. some. Uh, he's got some moxie. Uh, he's got some dance, as Charles Bukowski would say. My grandfather used to say that. Moxie. Remember? Got some moxie, and then, do you know what's a? That's a. It was like a. It's like Coca Cola to drink. The Coca Cola without the sugar. It's like this horrible drink. And they call that moxie. It's called moxie. It's a. It's a. It's like a. A moxicillin. Seriously, I don't know what it is. It's almost like sour root beer. <laughs> I've had it before. Mm. But to be said, ah, oh, he's got the moxie. I'm like, are we talking about that Boston-based carbonated beer, drink? Root beer fan, yes or no? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'll even, I'll even go a good root beer, but it's got to be in a frosted mug. <sighs> yeah, otherwise you're just sinner. Um, Cream soda? But I don't understand the difference. <laughs> okay, whoa, everyone calm down. The entire set just looked at me like I got a dick growing out of my forehead. Oh, my God, it's like vanilla ice cream, difference. chocolate ice cream? What's no, the difference? No, 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 no. Like, There's uh, like cream soda and, and root beer taste the same to me. Maybe I'm one of those people that like shut cilantro your face. tastes like soap. I don't know. No, I don't cilantro know. does taste like soap. Somebody yeah, said that you me. have a I gene. Love cilantro. Yeah, maybe I was, maybe but here's, but what, <laughs> I have that gene. By the way, how much did I swear as a kid that cilantro tastes like soap? And I'm kind of into it. Whoa. A lot of cussing. Eat the soap. I'm like, mm. I'm okay with this. My dad did that to uh, me. I, I'll never forget this. We were at church and I said, but. I said butt, as in bottom. We were not allowed to say the word butt. Really? And he goes, you go wash your mouth out with soap. And we were at the church, I was like, there's only the, do you remember the, um, they're like little plastic pear shapes and you kind of push the thing and it's liquid soap. And I was like, there's only liquid soap. And he goes, then that's what you do it with. And it was that pink liquid soap. I'm like, this can't be healthy for me. And I did it and I, I, I was like, I remember going, I can't get this off. Where did that? You go wash your mouth. Did you ever have to wash your mouth out with soap? Yeah, but I, I, 
I'm gonna tell you something. It's I think I was. Stuff. I think I'm like Benjamin Button in terms of like intelligence. I think I'm getting stupider as I get older because as a kid I was like, she's gonna make me put this up. It was lava. I'll never forget it. It was lava, lava with the so. grit, and I put it in there. I was like, they're pretty good. And she's like, you. Just, and I'm like, hmm. And That's I just really thought, and she was like, mm. can I have more soap, please? They're like, well, shit. You go wash your mouth out with chocolate. <laughs> Dude. Are we gonna go, we're we're going to we get there. we just get to a game no. before we talk about, like, because... my father used to hit me with a stick. <laughs> just get the counter going as far as how long it's been. Maybe we'll set a new record today because I do have something that's going to be really funny to get this in there. <laughs> I was talking to our dear friend David. We're talking about um, how, you know, like, how he grew up and everything. He goes, well, I mean, I got to get my dad a break because I don't know how I was as a kid. And I was like, boy, I do. I mean, I was, I was uh, precocious, uh, you know, uh, I was a troublemaker. I was like, how did I, do you remember how you were at five? I used to smoke well, a pipe. From being, from being eight, you remember very. Eight was the definitive year of hell. <laughs> we remember that. But like really before I was like, I remember that because that's what I was told I was. I was told that I was, you're a, you're a troublemaker, you're, you're uh, um, a disruption, you're all of these things. And so I, I assumed that that was who I was. And I've seen parents, now Pam and I are like really aware of how kids, oh my God, my kids are just, ah, I'll trade you right now if you want. And they talk about their kids like they're these cretins. And I'm like, maybe people believe that's who they are because that's what they were told. And we don't have, I don't have a, at five, I don't have a narrative written for who I am yet. And as I get older, you start coming into conflict going, maybe I was just inquisitive. Maybe they were just an asshole. Maybe they were just asshole. Maybe they were telling you, you need to go put liquid soap into your mouth because they don't know how to be a, a good, they're 24 years old. And, and I was like, a, we're trying to have a swingers party down here. <laughs> we're try, I'm trying to have sex with our neighbors. Your mother is hammered in the kitchen on all fours, and they're taking pictures, and you come down here for water? Yeah. You little precocious prick. <laughs> it's like, I guess, Sorry. I, I guess I'm a precocious prick. I'm not thirsty. <laughs> I'm, 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 well, I'm ill-behaved. To be fair, I made a fortune with those photos. Wow. But I, I, I know just, why, of course. Here's the, the, I, will, I will put the button on it with this. Let your narrative be the strongest narrative. And don't necessarily let anybody else's be narrative be stronger than... Don't. Not necessarily. Don't let someone else's narrative be stronger than yours. What are we playing today? So, I will tell you. <clears throat> I asked my friend, Neil Druckmann. I was like, hey, is there a little... This is what we're going to play. Is there a little fun fact... <laughs> that we could... You heard that too. Right? I did too. Okay. <laughs> is there a fun little fact that we could share? <laughs> and he said... Internally, like within the dev team. Oh, thank God. It was referred to as Sonic's ass game. Sonic's ass game? Because you watch primarily the game from behind. That's right, it's the 96 Naughty Dog classic, Crush Bandicoot. Crush Bandicoot. Ask on the box. What is a Bandicoot? Bandicoot is bar Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bandicoot is so bad. Um, I'm a more of a bandicoot on yes. With your long legacy, long, long legacy, with uh, Naughty Dog, have you ever played Crash Bandicoot? I can think of one time when you did. Uh, no, never have. There's one time when you did play Crash Bandicoot, and it's Crash Bandicoot. How do you, uh, how do you make it go? Oh my goodness! Oh my god, he's huge! So, you have two things you could do. Wow, you just like to go in there. That guy, jump up there and get that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I didn't think um, no, I He will it. help you. Um, you don't want to get smashed. So, uh, you jump and you spin. You crash into things. You're a bandicoot that spins. Um, and you want to pick up those apples. We've learned apples are good. What exactly is... Have we ever determined what exactly a bandicoot is? <laughs> Of course I know what a bandicoot is. Why are we looking it up? I'm not looking it I just wanted to check something that was absolutely completely unrelated to um, what the question was. Uh, I quite often like to find out what time it is in other uh, things. A bandicoot, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a group of about uh, 20 species of small to large sized terrestrial uh, marsupial. Don't you put it... 
You better get there. Oh. You creeped it up there. Uh, that are endemic to the Australia New Guinea region. We've been there, I've never seen one. A bandicoot? I, with my friend uh, Panda, Panda Musk, uh, we were driving and he stopped the car. He goes, oh my God, I gotta take a picture of it. Gets out of the car. Someone had done a, it was, was a bandicoot. Was a very good panda. Like that? Yeah. It was a bandicoot crossing sign and someone had written above it, crash. And so we, uh, I put it up on Twitter and I added shoe, why I don't know what that why is. Anyway, um, that is a pandicoot. I don't believe that most of them have pants. What? I like to think they do. <laughs> so your spin is a. You know what? I don't know what to do with with. Uh, your spin is an attack. It's feed me, Seymour. Can I can I spin on that thing? Yes. Spin. There you go. And jump over the oh. thing. Oh. And spin the and spin, the, uh, spin and you. I can the, spin the skunks. Spin the skunks. Ooh. Have you ever played spin the skunk? <laughs> It's a stinky game, but everybody's a winner. This is why we play spin. <laughs> I just smelled my no, fingers. No. Bring that back oh, around. No. Uh, no. Don't bring it back around. <laughs> bring it back around. I have it's a gone, real problem. It's a Christmas game we play in I have a real problem, and I've actually, with that friggin' pink hand soap that is in most men's rooms at least. Or in churches where kids like to, you know, Say it's that like, words. oh, it's, like, it's it. First of all, it looks like somebody just poured Pepto Bismol in your hand, watered down, and it's like, oh, that's the shitty cherry flavor. I how is that cleaning? I use that stuff, and I feel like my hands might be dirtier. That I have a, I have a mouth. fundamental. That well, that's awful. That in my mouth. That may be a form of child abuse. Yes, at a church too. That soap is evil. And when I go into a bathroom, I could go into the bathroom of a gas station, and if they have something other than that, wash your hands I'm just like, I am going to mark this in my GPS that this is the place to wash my hands. Okay, so... Oh, that pink shit bugs the shit out of me. I have an issue. But at... And it comes oh, just, and no. It's always, there's like, there's like a caked on, there's like, there's like, that's... Mm, and you have to like it's break like, through that mm, first. Like, that's what it sounds like, too. Yeah. You know, a lot of things sound like that, though. Are you? Are Can you? I, should I blow up TNT or just jump over? No, no, that's just jump over it. Um, is that your like? What we've talked about this before? Skunkus. Mm. Oh, skunkus. Will you? You have no problems. You'll go anywhere. You'll go to the bathroom anywhere. Like you're not. You're not uh, a, a discerning. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm a very discerning person when it comes to the bathroom. I, I enjoy uh, my own bathroom more than others. Uh, I guess, it, you, you know, I mean, if I'm... But you're not like, oh, yeah, that's bad. Oh, that little, that, that, that friggin' plant, how does... You know, there actually are plants that can eat animals. That's a true thing. Is it? Yeah. What is it? Name it. Name oh, it. I don't know. They exist in Steve. my dreams. Steve. Steve the plant. I know a plant named oh, Steve. By God. Um, uh, I actually, kudzu, kudzu, down I miss. Oh, I want to go. Uh, no, come back here. I want uh, kudzu. So, kudzu is like comic strip too. Yep. But kudzu, um, I like a little bit of kudzu on the side if I'm having like a pork. Kudzu is like an ivy, right? That, I don't know. And I didn't it, think there was. I thought there was a proper name. I don't think there was an actual thing that existed. No, in kudzu the world. exists. A kudzu is this. Mm. 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 Oh, I'm jumping. Okay, kudzu actually exists. It's a. Hey, you try one. Yeah. I got um, this. It you uh, it's like a, this vine, and my brother went to the University of Mississippi, oh and it's it's like an hour south of Oxford, and it's what what we in the uh, United States called deep cells, and my father thought it was beautiful ah. because it's literally everywhere, and it grows on everything to the point where they have to go down and and at times cut it off because it will grow up and over. Uh, oh, I've seen right. parts of Last of Us that look like where the where the nature has retaken the city. Yeah. Kudzu will cover everything, but it has to grow in these super warm, humid climates. My father pulled over the side Austin. of the road. <laughs> and no, he brought some back. Oh, he wanted know. to see if he could get it to grow on the on the back fence of our <laughs> house. Nope, it will not. And, it, and he, I mean, he got he dug some out and he put it in the thing and he drove. We drove it all the way back to New England. No. Like an 18 hour drive from Mississippi just to see if this stuff would grow. It did not. Okay. Have you played this a lot? Because I played. You've done very well here. I played this game a lot. Like, 
when I first started making money, and it was my own money, I went and I bought some things that I didn't have as a kid. Uh, but like a PlayStation 1 was the first one that I got, and it's because the PlayStation 2 had come out, and they were dropping the prices. Best Buy was dropping the prices of PlayStation 1. My first, this is gonna be fun, so you're gonna jump really, really high. Jump up on that box. The first uh, PS2 that came out was like a $700 system or something, it was ridiculous. Um, and I went in and I bought just a bunch of everything. I bought a PlayStation 2, a new TV, uh, I bought the DVD controller for it, I, just, I went nuts. Um, and that all came from uh, money that I got working at the strip club as a DJ. So I walked in and they were like, these are all singles. I was like, yep, I'm gonna pay you $1,000 in dollar bills. Um, or 20s, there's a few 20s that would do well. Um, and spend, and they'll go. Um, I would put more effort into, mm, timing. I would put more effort into getting out of doing yard work, like not mowing the lawn, uh, than I would as, uh, as I do as an adult, where I, it's become like my zen thing. Like we've got, I love my backyard. Um, we have this wonderful fountain koi pond that was built by the original owner of the house um, that has just become like a, a labor of love for me. And it's a <laughs> it's source of frustration. Huge source of frustration. Like we have lost fish. I've got, I've gone through so many pumps trying to figure out, I lose water, it's stupid. But like right now we've got people back there that are, are, are putting in new grass because I love waking up in the morning, going out there. There's a, the first stick of furniture that we got in that house, uh, Travis Willingham bought for me and it was a rocking chair. And that sits outside and I'll go out there with my first cup of coffee, uh, my book of Marcus Aurelius meditations and I'll sit out there and listen to that fountain um, and read Marcus and just kind of get my day ahead of me. I don't mean You to. need to time this perfectly, jump and then spin when you get in the middle. Jump, spin, middle. Jump, spin, middle. Jump, spin, middle. There you go. Now, you do not, you want to get smashed by that. So you need to time it perfectly. You can actually jump, spin and nail. There we go. There you go. Good job. Mm -hmm. uh, years of being stupid as a musician, not wearing earplugs, had led to me having really, really bad tinnitus or tinnitus, as it was actually supposed to be pronounced. I have horrible ringing in my ears. Oh, really? Really, really badly, persistently. Sitting out there and having that waterfall, that's my quiet moment because it's that white noise sound that allows me to um, kind of be in solitude and quiet without it, it, me being very aware of, of the ringing in my ears. But are you, you didn't have a big yard growing up in Providence because you guys had a smaller house. I don't think you had a big yard. Well, you know, the funny thing is, you know, I always thought we had a pretty big house, you know, when we moved right. to Rhode Island. And then you go back, you know, like, this thing was a this is tiny <laughs> shack. I thought my room I got one a bathroom, room. right? <clears throat> one bathroom there were, upstairs. So there was a basement, first floor, bedroom floor, attic. Old, old it built in around the turn of the century, 1900s. Wow. Toilet, basement, toilet, like you know, and, oh, and a no, sink in the, 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 the one floor. Bedroom floor had a toilet with a, a, a tub shower. And then this, the uh, the attic had a toilet, but I remember my dad would go in and turn on a, a, a he got a, a turn on a special heater in the bathroom because it would be freezing mm -hmm. in the in the fall and the winter, and you know you'd get out you'd be under cover in the bed like he's like it's warm or he'd take a shower first like, he's like all right it's, it's ready for you You're like ha ah! and we what? would race you ra <laughs> race to the bathroom you freeze halfway yeah. out of the shower yeah, you get in there yeah and and, and I. I used to try to like bring my clothes to the bathroom. So I'd shower and be dressed to walk out. Of course, that causes a problem with your brother who has to get in there and your mom. And your... Mm. So it was all about time, but you had to get, I got. I would get up early with my dad because only for one reason, I, I wanted some hot water. There's nowhere to go this way, right? Maybe, maybe you're over that way. But uh, someone's screaming at me right now. I, I just can't remember, it's been too long. Um, I'm sure. Spin. There you go. There you go. Well, oh, well done. There you. it is. Hey, this design, by the way, the success of this game led to you having a house. <laughs> so okay. don't curse it too much. Ugh. Well, at least I know what to do. This is one of the nothing. most well designed games, dude. It's just so good. Ha -ha. Checkpoint. Hit that. Spin. Okay. My first checkpoint. I'm very excited. Thank you. Well done. 
Spin that monkey, which looks like Monkey Island. Spin that monkey, that sounds dirty. Spin that monkey. Oh, girl, I'm gonna spin your monkey. Spin that monkey. Whoa, that's sharp. Punch. Woo, nice reaction. Spin that monkey. Spin that monkey. Don't I, go yak his it will spab you. I like it, cause. Get that. That's two, you get one more of those, you get a bonus round. I love bonus round. Hey! Hey, I didn't see, oh my God, I didn't want to be uh, rude. You do that with the, with the spirit, you have to do it when he's got his back. When his back's turned? Come back Wait till here. he turns around. But he is gone now, look, he's gone. Uh, now I come back for you. Wink! Ah! Oh, you little bastards. Jump over him and then. Well, wait, 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 um, come back. I'm over here, I'm a bandicoot. He's only gonna, he's only gonna attack you. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, Daddy. Is, is that green stuff slippery or my? Little slipperies. Oh, there. Uh, yay! I'm running! I'm running! Uh, I see. Put it does. Yeah, where the monkey, monkey, monkey? Ah! Oh, son of a bitch! I thought I had him. I didn't think the monkey was threatening. Oh, monkeys are threatening. Monkeys are always threatening. Monkeys will rip your face off. Actually, they can fan bees. Off. Oh. His face. Oh. Shit balls. Hello, little turtles. It's my. Mm. Mm -mm. Hey. Holy going. Hit the, hit the, hit that, hit that. Go. To, can you? Oh, I think you might have to do that with uh, the. Have to jump on the, the jump monkey on the, face. Jump on the monkey and spin that monkey. Jump on the monkey. I thought I, I, I wasn't patient. I wasn't a good patient. Patience is a virtue. Patience right. is virtues. All right, so you know what to do. You know what to do. You know what to do, yeah. Jump on that turt. Toll. I forgot to jump on turtles. Finch. Now wait for it to shimmy shimmy coco bop. Shimmy shimmy coco bop, shimmy shimmy rock, shimmy shimmy coco bop, shimmy shimmy rock. Come on. And then shimmy shimmy rock. That is a spiky shimmy, looking. Shimmy shimmy coco bop. That is a spiky shimmy looking. Rock. You know, somewhere that thing is sold in an adult novelty store. Ah, I don't Lost. like this guy. This guy's this guy's crazy, man. How many apples does the spiky dildo cost? Boink. Why is that guy doing that? He's crazy, man. I'm gonna slide. And I'm gonna slide. I like it. Let's slide. Oh, why do I jump off this? Why do I jump off this? This is the guy that I gotta jump on. Here you go, homie. Can you get that? Shit, I didn't. I need, Shit, Gibbon. I needed to use the turtle twice. Mm. Always use the turtle twice. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me, Seymour. No, I will knock you in the face because you're dirty. Oh my god. What? My apologies, hey, you know something? My maybe I'm having. Hey, ready? Let me set yeah, you up. Please. <clears throat> you know, maybe I'm having trouble with this because I just don't understand the. What? Where are we? <laughs> That's how it begins. Oh yes, a hero for our time. Now, Crash Bon the Coot, although he is made sort of by the demented Dr. Cortex. He was dismissed as unworthy to be in the doctor's growing army of animal-based soldiers. Hmm. It seems that Cortex has gender plan. Gander, grander? Gander plans? Come on, Drew. Oh, shit. No, no, please don't. I know, it's scaring all of us. Then Crash could fulfill. So he up and boots Crash off his main island and goes back to his schemes of world conquest. That was a very big mistake. Big mistake. It turns out before Crash was ejected from the island fortress, he made an attachment to another one of Cortex's ex experiments, a wonderful she bandicoot named Tana. Oh. She works at the DMV. Crash is rather upset about being distanced from his new love, and he's going to <laughs> prove just how wrong Dr. Cortex was. I and... fell off again another stupid way. <laughs> and making a bandicoot new and improved at that as an enemy for life. Stick around for the fireworks, the fun is just starting, exclamation point. Along the way, Crash faces an array of bosses, including the, <laughs> I thought it said, the engaged Papu Papu, 
and a host of Cortex's failed experiments, including Ripperoo, Koala Kong, and Pinstripe Putru. Somebody was so freaking high when they made this game. Jason and I Rubin. think it was Jason Rubin, yeah. <laughs> Andy Gavin. Oh, I didn't know I was a crispy critter. There's a crispy critter right there. I did not see the fire. It's a Bunsen burner. I did not see the fire. <laughs> you don't see the fire? The fire is so far. Ah, why did you not tell me about the fire? Look at these tidbits. The game was created as, as the brainchild of Night Dogs, Jason Rubin. <laughs> I Rubin pressed the wrong button Andy Gavin. Did you know that Andy Gavin, I want to make sure, I mean, that Jason Rubin, um, the first thing that he created, a, uh, Oh, no. Oh, no, what did you do? I lost. The beauty of this is... Oh, I don't want to do the jungle roller again. The first thing that he created was, uh... I want to say it was like a porn game. Ah, uh, look at the poor skunks. They fall in hole and die. Yes, they stinkies. Spend the skunk. Let's play Spend the Skunk. Giggity, giggity, giggity. That's gonna, you. I'm telling you, man, that's gonna be a thing. Used hey, to play that. Friday night, man, in college, that's all we used to do is play Spin the Skunk. Yeah, man, you know, Jump each friend. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You go this, out, you find is, a skunk, man. This is a great opportunity. Some wonderful chat codes. Holy shit, I forgot wait, about Wait, there's cheat codes? This. Tons, my friend. Oh. So stop playing the game. It, what do you mean? <gasps> there you go. Oh, I thought you were gonna die. Hit that Hold on, checkpoint. I wanna go to Checkpoint Charlie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Checkpoint Charlie? Yeah, don't wanna go there. Actually. You don't wanna go to Checkpoint Charlie. But look how these guys are so good. <laughs> There's like two people that got that reference. I was there, man. <laughs> I was there. Oh, look oh, at this. Can you do it? If you, if you make this, you can continue. If you die, we do cheat codes. Deal? Deal pickle. Move. All right, you get to keep playing. Damn it. And then I got eaten by a I skunk. Eaten by a skunk. You know what, because I want to have Chet Kelts. Okay. Cheat codes and game. Okay, so we just put in the access, all levels, keys and gyms. Super password sheet. A lot of X's, at, triangles, just, squares, just so and you circles. Can see, you remember where we started off? <clears throat> yeah, now, now we're at the top. Now you're at the very, very, very top. What I think we should do is go to the boulder level, which is gonna be further down. So you can just kind of walk backwards. Great hall, lab, keep going. The boulder level is the crash cam, right? Yes. Scott boulder dash. dash. There it is. In Uncharted 2. Um, well, we saw in un our Uncharted playthrough. If you haven't watched it, you should. Yes, you should. Um, the first time that you go across that um, uh, rickety bridge was designed by Neil Druckmann. That's right. And that was the first instance of the crash cam. And there's a crash cam in, Uncharted. in every Uncharted. <clears throat> I remember, uh, we haven't done it yet. We will get to it um, in Uncharted 2. Yes. It's when the truck is chasing you through. Gun truck. The gun truck, right? And you're running, I remember it. Oh I, crap. I had to do some of that mocap where reading back, shooting, and then they let the mechanics take most of it. Then where he, but he, the stumble and fall was mocap. That, that was the moment mm. in that game when I was like, <gasps> when you go seamlessly from cinematic into, ugh, ugh. Don't they ever do that? Ah! All right, so we uh, should try Boulder Dash? Boulder Dash, get it? Boulder Dash, yeah, I get Boulder it. Dash. And of course, from the most famous boulder dash. Ooh. You're doing very well. You're doing very well. You're doing well. Roadkill! <laughs> Mama, there's a possum on the road. We go get it. My supper's gonna wait late. That brings so much joy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this is still my favorite one-liner. You didn't even remember doing it. It was like, they got chicken in prison. I don't mind staying, Daddy. So you need some of that chicken. You Maybe you should have gone back to the cells and got yourself a piece of chicken. Well, I don't know if there was any, well, Daddy. There was some chicken and tater. They have chicken and taters in prison, Daddy. I don't mind staying. Go, looking jump, and jump. jump. Oh, I was so close! Like on the phones between the glass and the kids just going like, they got chicken fingers in prison. I don't mind staying there. They got chicken and gravy. <laughs> like, no, chicken and taters. I think the lawyer's gonna be able to get you off. Oh, I got chicken and taters in prison, Dad. I don't mind staying. I don't mind staying, Dad. Never mind what happens to me in the shower. Oh. 
I ain't never been so clean. Mm, you're doing very well. Uh, um, uh, if this party gets a little dark. Jeez. Hmm, like subject wise or like? No. <laughs> uh, 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 Naughty Dog knew what they were doing. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. I, I that beat you, Boulder. I beat you, Boulder. <laughs> uh, I, I, no, Nolan can't move with the, the things, lady. Go, why are yeah, they? Oh. Eventually. Oh no, it's still coming. Yeah. I didn't think it could get through there, so I stopped. No, no, no. Eventually, <clears throat> we will get past this game, but we're gonna let him keep playing. Ah, yes. And in the meantime, we ask you, what do we play next? <laughs> this, we're gonna play this next and next and next. <laughs> when you cut yourself, when you... If you're small, don't be soft. Wow. If you're short and hard. <laughs> yeah, like a tuna can, kids. Rigid and round, oh, thick, no. girth is the answer. Oh, Take that to the no. bank. N Nolan North? A hockey player? <laughs> Troy... Troy Bagger? Troy Baker. I have no idea who that is. <laughs>